So using the previous data, in this video I'm going to show you how to run a two-way ANOVA. We run two-way ANOVA when we want to see some interaction effect between two categorical variables on some continuous dependent variable. So let's say we want to see the interaction effect between gender and let's say program type on reading score. So to do a two-way ANOVA, we'll first go to analyze and this model comes under this part, general linear model. Here we will go for univariate. So here we will pick our dependent variable. So let's say for now I pick the reading score and the dependent variable. And then I have two categorical variables, gender, which is two category, male and female. And then we have three program types. Okay, vocational, academic, and general. And then we will go to plots, uh, mean of reading score for gender, mean of program, mean of reading score for program types, and I want to see their multiplication term. So I will put one of them here in horizontal and another in the separate lines. Okay, and I will click add. So I will see a multiplication of these two and I will click continue then I will go to post hoc so here for gender post hoc is not really relevant because we have only two categories but for program it will be relevant because we have three categories and we would like to maybe see which categories differ from each other which two categories differ from each other so we'll put it here and I'm picking this one I'm assuming equality variance and I'm going for this one REGWQ and continue and then maybe we'd like to see the estimated marginal means so I would like to see the overall one then for gender also for program and also their interaction term okay and then we actually are comparing main effects and for confidence level confidence interval adjustment I will choose this one this one is the most recommended one so I will use this one and continue so in the options then, we will pick the descriptive statistics, estimates of the effect size, and then homogeneity test, okay? So these are the major things that we will normally consider and report when doing a two-way ANOVA test. And then I'll click continue, and then okay. So here what we are seeing is that if gender and program time has an interaction effect on the reading score of the students. So first we have some subject between subject factors. We we see our we see our frequencies here. We have 91 male and 109 female, and then we have 45 in the general program, 105 students in the academic program, and 50 students on the vocational program. Okay? And we have their descriptives divided and combined so here so for the males we have for all three categories general academic and vocational and also for females we have the same general academic and vocational and we have the mean scores there are standard deviation and respective n sample size so here actually we can see that for both male and female the vocational ones are scoring the lowest then the second lowest are for general ones for both of them and then the academic group the group 2 here they're scoring the highest for both male and female actually from here I can kind of sense that there is no significant interaction effect of these two variables on the rating score because they have very similar pattern but before we conclude anything we would like to do some statistical significant test and we would like to see actually if we have some effect or not and when we do this kind of mean comparisons then we normally care about this Leneves, Levenus test of equality of variance and in this case as we can see here we have a few reported and all of them indicates that that we have equality of variance across groups so in Levenus test for equality the null hypothesis is that that equality of variance between groups okay or across groups and in this case 
we see that the p-values are higher than 0.05, that means we accept the null hypothesis, that means we have equality of variance. So that's great. So then we, and by the way, just to inform you, if it was not significant still, we could proceed with two-way ANOVA. Two-way ANOVA is usually very robust to violation of this assumption, so that's okay. We could still move with the analysis, but we would of course mention it in the paper, in the, in the research report that this violation was violated, but still we can trust on the findings. So here we have the main results, uh, test between subjects effects, okay? So here are our variables and here are our significance level. So when I look into gender, I see that the value, the p-value for gender is higher than 0.05, so that means gender does not have a significant effect. But program do have a significant effect. But then gender and program together, their interaction term does not have a significant effect on the reading score. And from the partial eta squared, we can see the percentage of variation explained in the dependent variable. For instance, gender alone explains 0.8% of variation in the dependent variable rating score. Program explains 18% of variation in the rating score. And their multiplication term, the interaction term, explains about 2% variation. So this, this explains the highest one. The program type itself alone explains the highest percentage of variation in the rating score. And then we have the estimated marginal means, and first we have the grand mean for the reading score, the mean standard deviation, and the confidence intervals. Then we have it for the variable, one of one of the independent variable. And here we can see the means for both the categories, male and female, and their standard error and confidence intervals. And here we see the pairwise comparison, and we see both the groups that do not really differ significantly on reading score. So male and female, they actually score more or less same uh, in the in the reading score in the reading exam okay and then we have a univariate test here we have the reading score as the dependent variable and gender as the independent variable and we see that gender does not have a significant effect on the reading score which is exactly the same as what we have seen here right similarly for program type the second independent variable we have the mean scores so here we can see the pairwise comparisons and here we can see that that group one and two, one was general and two was academic, their rating score differs significantly. But one and three, general and vocational, their scores does not differ significantly. And then again, one and two, that is two is academic and one is general, their score also differ significantly and two and three also differ significantly. Okay, but again, 1 and 3, which we have seen earlier, does not differ significantly, and 2 and 3, which we have already seen, it's repeated here, differ significantly. And again, we have the univariate test for this model. Here, again, we have the rating as the dependent variable, and we have we, we have the uh, program type as the independent variable, and we have the same findings again here. So program type has a significant effect on the dependent variable reading score and it, it explains 18% of variation in reading score. So now here we can actually see some descriptive statistics, some basic, um, some basic mean and standard deviation of the multiplication terms like gender and uh, type of program. So here we have male and three types of program, here we have female and three types of program. And we again see the same pattern that we have seen earlier that actually there is not a big difference in their pattern of scores. For example, what I mean by that is that the lowest scores for both male and female comes from the vocational and the highest score for both comes from the academic, okay? So then we have some uh, postdoc test, homogeneous subsets, and we requested it when we were yeah, setting the analysis, we requested for it. We requested for the variable program type, and here we can see that one and three are in one box. That means that 5% statistical significance, they are not different from each other, and two is in a different box. That means that 5% statistical significance alpha, two is the score of academic is significantly different from both general and vocational, okay? 
So that's what we get from here and which we have seen earlier as well. And here we have the profile plots like estimated means of reading a score here. We can see that the means of male is higher than female in the reading score. Then from the program type perspective, we see the academic, they score the highest. And then the general and vocational, they score the low lowest. And here we have the plot, all of them here. We, we have the lines for different pro type of programs. We have the genders here and we have the reading scores here. So we have all three counted in this one figure. So here, normally when the lines intersect each other, that's when actually we will have a significant interaction effect or the other way around. Like if there was a significant interaction effect, then you'd see that the lines intersect each other, okay? But in this case, you see they do not intersect each other. So that kind of indicates that there is no interaction effect. Uh, the males and females both score the lowest on vocational, both score the medium on general, and both score the same, the highest on academy. So we actually see that there is no interaction effect because both genders kind of score on the same level for all three types of program. Okay, so there is no significant interaction effect between gender and type of program on reading a score. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.